Amateur radio, also known as ham radio, is a popular service and hobby that enables so many activities, from public service to scientific experimentation to sheer fun. With more than 740,000 practitioners in the U.S. and 1.75 million worldwide, there are federally licensed amateur radio operators everywhere, in your neighborhood, in your workplace, and in your schools. People just like you use ham radio to communicate without relying on the internet or a cell phone network, and it can go wherever you go. You can hike a trail, climb a mountain, or paddle a river, and take your radio with you. Ham radio even reaches as far as outer space. Ham radio operators can talk to astronauts aboard the International Space Station, talk to other operators through satellites orbiting Earth, and even bounce their radio signals off the moon and back. The amateur radio service is a valued element of neighborhoods and municipalities across the U.S. In times of disaster, when regular communications channels fail, the amateur radio service works with public service agencies such as FEMA, the American Red Cross, and the Salvation Army to assist emergency communications efforts. Amateurs can also use their radios to volunteer within their communities, providing communications for events like county fairs, parades, and road races. Although people get involved with amateur radio for many reasons, they all pass a test to earn the Federal Communications Commission license that shows they have a basic knowledge of the principles of electricity, radio technology, and operating rules. This knowledge has practical everyday applications that educators have used to teach science, technology, engineering, and math concepts. Lots of hams got into the hobby as kids and followed their interest in radio to exciting careers as astronauts, engineers, pilots, and more. The ham radio frequencies begin below the AM broadcast band and extend into extremely high microwave frequencies. Ham radio operators use these frequencies to communicate with each other using microphones, Morse code, and even by interfacing a radio with a computer or tablet to send data, text, or images. Some compete in contests, trying to make the most radio contacts within a certain time frame. Amateur radio has been around for over 100 years, and the technology behind it continues to evolve and advance today. Operators are always finding new ways to explore amateur radio, experimenting with digital applications of this technology through things like coding, mobile apps, and drones. To learn more about the endless possibilities of amateur radio, where the technology is headed, and how you can get involved, visit ARRL, the National Association for Amateur Radio, at www.arrl.org.